Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cats. This week we got the Leap Motion Sensor in the studio. Chill is trying it out right in front of our eyes. Some new uh, uses for the Google Glass. He tests it out. Uh, and a couple other, uh, what are we going to do with this thing? Uh, all this, a little bit more of wear tech on your finger, and so much more. Awesome Cats. This edition of Awesome Cats is brought to you by... PittsburghOnVideo.org. Check out the best videos from Pittsburgh all in one place. PittsburghOnVideo.org. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line advertising. Awesome cast 159 coming from the studio here in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Michael Sorg down here manning the booth. Uh, we got some cool stuff. You know, something's not on my face that you may have noticed on my face if you're watching Pittsburgh TV KDKA2 recently. Uh, but we'll probably touch on that a little bit later. But with me, the temporary glass hole sitting up here in studio for the first time in a couple weeks is Chachi Anthony Walker. How you doing? Now, there's a reason that you're doing I'm this. I'm in cyberspace. I'm looking at me, looking at me, looking at me. Because we have you. He's in the internet. I am in the internet. In the hmm. Google Hangouts. So you see this. You see you see me over here. Hi. There you go. A tiny bit of lag. But this is a... So we have a chachi cam for this. And there's a reason. There's John Chichilla. What's Chilla up? just joining us. There wow, you go. Like I can see myself yeah. inside in you. Yep. <laughs> That's a great pickup oh, line if yeah. I ever heard one. Uh, so he's over here. Wait, no, this is there's Linux. There he is. Now, uh, and and I should I should adjust your thing. Um, how you doing, John? How's it going? I don't know which that camera, camera to over look there. At. Okay. Okay. There you go. Here we go. So now you you got something cool uh, that we're going to touch on here. You want to see what that is real quick? Yeah, I'm going to cover Elite Motion today. All right. It's pretty exciting. And yeah, so, it's in interesting because. When it picks up the field, so sometimes it picks up the mic as a hand, mm -hmm. and sometimes it picks up Chachi's hat as a hand. <laughs> I'm learning this as I'm sitting around other objects. Um, excellent. And of course, so I should take my hand. This off. is the my awesome cast. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> this is the awesome cast where we like to talk tech and get geeky. And we get gadgets in here all the time that we like to play with. Um, and you can uh, drop us a line, send your comments and everything to contact at awesomecast.com, uh, Google Plus, Facebook, catch us on Twitter at awesomecast with any of your thoughts, anything you think we should check out. Um, and I say we're moving more less towards stories and more toward like what's some nifty stuff we found on the internet, right? Um, and that goes along with like this kind of demo stuff that we want to play with here. Uh, we talked about Google Glass la last week, or of course probably going to get sick of hearing about it on this show but we're experiencing it and we're getting it out there so you know um so and so like i said like, i guess this is your awesome thing of the week right chilla oh definitely um i don't know can you flip to my screen yeah we got your screen right here so uh wait is that you that is me yeah, that's right. okay so, so what you'll see is and i don't know if you so you'll see like see the circle on my screen can you actually see that uh, like if my cursor moves. Okay, so we see your cursor moving. So and see how it puts the circle around it. Okay. So the leap device actually I measures the, also the depth of how far I am away. And as I push in... And we see uh, on the charge cam, it's just this little device that you're sitting right there on your laptop. Yep. Now it doesn't... Actually, this is the first time I've used it in a, a little more of an enclosed environment. Mm -hmm. What's a little awkward is... And I think Chachi can probably see on the device. So as you get to the halfway point on the device, mm -hmm. that's like its depth for a touch. Okay. So like as I'm... Oh. As I get further back mm -hmm. and closer to, that's how it registers. Like right here, it's just I'm scrolling around, scrolling so, around. So, so the leap and then as I touch... So basically, the leap is is creating this three D space, like like there's like a three D box that your hand enters and exits above the device. Right? Yes, we're using new technology to look at new technology. Yeah. <laughs> so let me see if I can bring up the orientation. 
Yeah, I know there's some pretty awesome because I guess it shows you a video while you're downloading the software. Because the big thing was you guys like you did you get this Monday? I got it Saturday. Oh, <laughs> here's what sucked. Yeah, they didn't post the software until Monday. So you don't even so get I a had disc a or anything with this right. thing. So so you're sitting there like I'm looking at this box and I can't even use it because they didn't release the software. And and there was a problem downloading it, right? I didn't have any problems downloading the software. Now it didn't post till probably part of the way through the day uh -huh. yesterday. Um, but once it posted, I had zero issues Good. downloading it. Now the one weird thing is it does come with Cut the Rope, which is a Mac OS exclusive. I guess it's not on the Windows side, <laughs> but it prompts you for an email address and password, which is not the email address and password for their store. Is it an app store download? It's an app. No, it like came preloaded. So huh. let me let me open up their app store along here. with its software. And that, now and again, it's 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 so they have their own app store that's leap. And it's all web. -based. It's a browser. Yeah. So you can see here's Airspace, which is their which is their actual interface of what I want to launch. Mm -hmm. um, it's like they made a giant and, button so you can touch interface that mm -hmm. thing. Now, here's the apps I've already downloaded, and some of them came preloaded, like Cut the Rope. Mm -hmm. um, Are these all, do they all load in browser? This isn't a browser window. This, oh, is, this, like is, their, this is like their version of like a launch pad. Okay. And then when you open their app store, it actually opens. That opens in the browser. In okay. a browser. And then you can, you can scroll through. I think they're... I really like their store from a display perspective. Mm -hmm. um, they have some work to do on organization. Okay. <laughs> but it's a brand new store. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's brand new. This it's isn't a company that's done this before, right? Correct. So, so I mean, that's not so bad for what they're doing there. Apps are kind of like your typical Android, mm -hmm. iOS, Windows, phone, whatever. Okay. Um, $1.99.99, you can see the cut the rope mm -hmm. is free for right now. Oh, and they did add it for Windows. The one article I read said it was only available on the Mac. Mm. Um, two ninety nine. I mean, you're not looking at huge cost and for apps. So, what can you do with this thing? You can play a game. I can play games. I can control. I can control my OS mm -hmm. from my hand. Now, I'm actually interested because the the touch that they implement does a little less. Than some what some other developers have implemented, mm -hmm. so I can't swipe between spaces. Well, I guess I can't. You can in an advanced mode swipe between spaces. I can't pinch to bring up my apps. I can't do some so, of the more advanced navigation features. Okay. okay. Where and that's where I think they're really going to be dependent on developers mm -hmm. to really take this to the next step. A lot of people are saying, you know, I got this device. Yeah, it was seventy or eighty bucks, mm -hmm. but it's a bunch of gimmicky toy type apps. But it did just come out. It, ju it did but just they're come not, out. I don't think they're doing a bunch of the software development. No. They're expecting developers to develop applications. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't seen what, what percentage they get. Um, you can see there are some apps. I think there's a music making app. That I saw that was like a hundred bucks. So what, what was your appeal in picking this thing up? My appeal was, because I'm a geek, <laughs> when um, Tony Stark kind of like models stuff and looks at different things, being able to take that three-dimensional look. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff I would like for just navigational purposes going through photos. It would be nice to be able to sit back and kind of swipe. There's some applications that are doing that, but they're, I haven't had a chance to test it, and I ha I'll, honestly haven't registered a credit card to be able to buy anything. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm kind of leveraging some of the free apps for right now. Can't and then no runs. going forward, there are some people saying, you know, the apps need tweaking. <coughs> the device already got a firmware update. So I noticed as soon as I loaded the software yesterday, I got a firmware update pushed down to the so device. So right on top of things. Right. So I, I think they're working hard. I don't think it's a gimmick. I think it's something that will, that can and will be used mm -hmm. to what extent it's kind of up to the user. Mm -hmm. Um, some games, I mean, once I get cut the rope to work, it would be nice. That, that'll be kind of fun. Um, I don't see myself. Th there's two things that I think that the, the that 
they're trying to move forward with that they're lacking right now, and that's integration. So for me to take this with me, it's not very usable. Like I have to put it over my mouse. I have like where my trackpad normally would be, mm -hmm. or I have to have a desk that I can sit at. If people are around me, it's going to pick up on them from time to time. It's more of this goes in your at your desk at home, and it does give so, some capability. So this this is something I should expect that I ins I, I I go you, stick in my one, office. Use one finger. So if it's a circle. Mm. One finger will like kind of navigate. Two fingers uh, will okay. scroll. Huh. Oh wow, that's cool. Now there's some more advanced things now, and I don't have anything really, any but, three I dimensional, mean, so it can tell the difference between one, two. Is it's this supposed to be able to do three? But I don't have anything set up for three. Is fingers. this something that now I've been talking about? I want. I've been wanting to have a touchscreen MacBook mac you know something for the longest time is this kind of a good stopgap for something like that if i at least like i mean i'm thinking i'm thinking my use case is i'm sitting there and i have a bunch of computers i'm going back and forth producing my dvds going back and check out on this render and i see something pop up why don't i go hey click on that message but i don't want to reach all the way over for my mouse so this is something i put on my edges of my desk and i can go you know hey boom you know and go back to my thing i'm guessing as if you used it and you continued to use it, I get used to it. You get used to That's it. That's from everybody talking about now has had a two days max right. on it, right? So for me to navigate, like you see me navigating this window, mm -hmm. it's not bad because I mean the the icons are big now here. Now if I want to go look at this app right here mm -hmm. and then kind of minimize, like you're really. Because the icons on the OS aren't necessarily set up for a three-dimensional space mm -hmm. and being used to... I mean, you have to hold... To hit small points, you really have to hold your finger steady. And well, that's where... <laughs> if you... Like, for me to hit the tabs in the browser... How do you do the hit? Is it a poke? So, if you, if you take the device and you looked at it as mm -hmm. it is... Once you breach halfway back on the device, mm -hmm. it's a poke. Okay. And now that's just what like the mouse software does for you, right? Right. Some other software will do other things. This is called Touchless, mm -hmm. and it comes for Windows and Mac. Mm -hmm. And you'll see, like, the further away I am, the bigger the circle is around the cursor. And then the closer I get, the more it and zooms in. And when it turns green, mm -hmm. that's a poke. I, it was a little hard for us to see here on the screen you, here, you but you can't really make it out on the Google uh, Glass yeah. because of the brightness. Yeah, well, even we're we're doing a screenshot, and we're not able to tell. Is it just like a little faint kind of thing? It's happening a faint. It's cursor? a faint gray circle okay. around the cursor. But again, that's something you would get used to and everything. So, and then you'll see like what you since you can't see the circle when you put two fingers up, it's the circle with the crosshairs okay. around it or four dots around it. Okay, and it lets you more or less scroll. Okay. Good, good article to be pulling up there. What's that? It's a good article to be pulling up up oh, there. I was just getting ready. No, no, no. I was talking about him. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it works. It, I like it for what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to get better over time. And I, based on the fact that their, their app stores... Um, <laughs> their, the, the app store is all outside developers. I mean, the New York Times is already developing for it. They're going to have a New York Times interface, leap interfaced newspaper. I think based on the apps that are already in there and what's coming down the road, I could see it definitely taking off. Just having fun. I know. I, we're, I'm having fun <laughs> cutting to your shots. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I, okay. We, we're getting, we got We got a second camera on you here. Yeah. Give, give I'm really like seeing that. I'm going to be ended up traveling to, or to New York City here soon. <laughs> Carla, Carla's going to divorce me. I gave you a profile shot. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi, can you fix your mic over there? It looks like a flip oh, before okay. I turn you back up here. When you're set, I'll get you. There you are. Yeah, you're back. All right. Oops. Uh, so, but no. But this is this is the first step, and you're you're looking for what's next with right. this. But look kind of like me with the class. Like obviously, like it's definitely not ready for prime time, even though it is kind of more out there public with with this device. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is a little more affordable. 
yeah oh yeah oh well yeah there's that too um this was a little little less of a jump you know a little less of a leap uh so uh, yeah and, and and you're you're looking forward to like what comes from the developers what comes from the developers what can i do with it navigating my screen yeah i like you said would it be nice from time to time now here's here's the other thing there's and i want to actually set up voice activation on my equipment because as soon as my hand passes over it mm -hmm. it's active mm -hmm. which can get interesting if i'm reaching for something so like i'm <laughs> so i'm reaching across my keyboard for my drink and i just activated something right okay so that's where but like, i think that's where you you then kind of learn your kind of space there but the space is actually pretty big mm -hmm. so it covers the entire probably an extra foot six inches on either side of the 13 inch screen mm -hmm. so i mean it's it, it covers and you're and on it, you're on a 13 inch macbook right. air for those curious and it and it covers a large area mm -hmm. so there's not much room for me to get around if, if like it, so my, wait, my desk so at work isn't huge where you where you put that on there um like you can't use that in conjunction with your keyboard right because i have to reach over top of it. yeah so wait, do you put it like on the back part of the keyboard functionally or or, or what i haven't really but you haven't got that i haven't out. got that far now i'm interested because hp they claim they're integrating this with their laptops so they're gonna. So how does that work? Now, you know, it's probably gonna be they have a switch on it, just like they used to have on the mouse pads. Or as soon as you start typing, it goes inactive. It could be. The other thing is, then I think we were talking about it earlier before we we kind of started was, it's the top of it's a very shiny black piece mm -hmm. of glass. You say kind of like a. a I think it's gorilla glass. Be, yeah. Um, it gets smudged. Well, inside the device are two cameras, and an infrared sensor. Mm -hmm. so when it gets smudged it'll actually give you warnings and say hey i'm smudged is this is please this, clean me is this technology um equivalent in any way to what we see with connect they they did kind of compare it to connect it doesn't have it's obviously like a different angle the like, width yeah it doesn't have the width and it yeah. it does it calculates depth differently okay now it's actually they, they claim that it's more accurate mm -hmm. as far as like when let me see if i can bring up the one um app here the orientation i believe i'm getting all of your notifications yeah oh you got all the notifications on the on the glass it, it keeps bleeping yeah like, then then just pop your head up or tap it and it'll, it'll, it'll come up with a message oh no uh, it's it's it, it doesn't no, do it oh i know because you're under you're in the thing so it's not gonna. You're not gonna be able to get to them. No, it's it's popping up because the battery drained really quick. While probably, doing this. probably. If you want to cut that out, go and go and exit out of there. I think we're done that with the most part. We do want to get Chilla to have a chance with that. Yeah, I can't. I, unfortunately, it's at the very end of the orientation where it actually shows you mm -hmm. your hands mm -hmm. and how it wireframed them, mm -hmm. and you can. It it monitors every joint. Oh wow! So yeah, I, I know when you see Connect today, it's kind of like a you're yeah, you're well, kind of like it's blobby your, and it's it's your entire body. But there is like the software we looked at was Ooh. like like they could figure out where your joints are. Right. What what what? It's really warm. Yeah, it gets hot. It gets hot when you're using it like that. For sure. That's the one thing I noticed about this. So the other thing is is obviously Leap isn't doing all the calculation. Mm -hmm. It's sending all of the calculations to your device. So it's sending raw do data. Well, so I've dropped. Yeah. Since we've started and it's been plugged in, I've dropped fourteen percent. Well, anything you run off of a USB like that's going to be high powered, right? Yes. Now it just gave me a warning that it's not functioning properly. <laughs> Chachi, what are you doing? You have it like over top of your glasses. Yeah, I was just putting it. On. No, it's fine. It's twenty six. Okay, you're good. It'll be fun for me. So before that dies, uh, well, I, I do, Chilla, I did want you to get uh, your experience here live on the air. 
for uh, <laughs> this is the whole reason I came over. This is the whole reason for glass. <laughs> like, oh, I had a lab. You bartered the leap so you can play with glass. I see how this goes here. Right, uh, but still, I mean, before? I didn't. Nah. Okay. So, 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 the, right, go ahead and try it. So, this is our first kind of live demo on the show here. You're the first timer. Now, yeah, you it is really warm. Uh, yeah. yeah you now, really, you want to really set warm. it so. No, it's probably not. Oh, I should come on automatically, actually. It should be kind of above your. Okay, vision. wait a minute. I can. Yep. Okay, so you want to line it up so that you can see that square just by glancing upward. Yeah. And not even like a full glance, like kind of like a, a quarter glance. Okay, it looks like you're about there. Do you uh, see? It keeps going away. Now, if you tap that side. Yeah, you... that's the sensor bar right there. Mm -hmm. Now, it might be weird because it fitted for my head. So. Right. So I'm getting most of the screen. Okay, glass. Well, now, that, that okay. screen has to activate. Okay, glass. And now, it, it, on that screen, oh, if you I move can up view, and down, move you'll up and see down. the options. And do I scroll up and down, or do I just look? You can say it. Yeah, just say it. Yeah, and you can look, too. Oh, it's going dim. Yeah, it's like three seconds, and it cuts Take out. a picture. So, when I said take a picture, it came up and said, OK, glass. After the picture? Yeah, because that, that it, it gives you a couple seconds to do that, and then you could, from there, like send it to social media or to somebody else or something, post it. Now I lost the screen. Because, uh, touch it again. Uh-oh. There, there it is. Okay, glass. So now, if I wanted to send a picture. Um, if you want to do that, now, now. Kind okay, of glass. Chachi. I can't read what it. Are you nearsighted? No, it's the. The way it's, it's lined up. It, the way it's lined up on my face, I'm missing a left like portion a left of the. Well, that's the, all on a on a, a arm oh, too, so in, you can turn that. In, so tap it that? so it comes on, and then adjust your front part. Because it's like that whole like front camera screen part is kind of. Yeah, it'll swivel back. Oh. There you go. And then you can kick it so you have all four. There we Wow. <laughs> it's like watching TV. Yep. It, it, it's now, I wonder. It just says Google. Uh, it's Googling something. <laughs> if, if, it if, you say, cancel out, if you want to cancel out, like I say, you, you uh, slide down, down on that touchpad, swipe down on the touchpad. And then to swipe, if you get back to the OK glass screen, now swipe forward and back to go back and forth on the timeline. And you're going to see pictures and... and my Google Now's on, on either side. Oh. And like I said, on the... On so I'm the, seeing cards. You're seeing cards. So you're on the Google Now side of that. And I'll go and it'll go to the settings. Oh, all the way back to settings? No, no, no Eventually, it'll get to settings. Okay, there. I see Now, that. if you go the other way, it'll have the picture you just took and it'll have tweets, it'll have emails. Wow. It's fast. Yeah, it's... The interface is actually really nice. Mm -hmm. Can you set the background color or is it always no, purple? No, no, it's always... It, purple? To me, it looks purple. <laughs> yeah, it should, it's black. Yeah, it should, it should be, be black. black. It was like kind of the light up screen. Okay, maybe it's just you know. Yeah, yeah. I lost it again. Yeah, it goes to sleep really quick. Yeah, and I don't know if you're touching it entirely. Where do I? Part. It's kind of like you're going for your temple. Okay, and it's the lower part. Make sure you don't get that upper band. There's your schedule. There's <laughs> uh, we go. Back. Now, if I say OK, glass. It only works on that first screen. Yeah. Okay. So um, I have to get back to that. No, mm -hmm. go to oh, wait a settings. Whoa, 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 wait. wait, now, wait. Now he, we're gonna How do I cancel what I'm in? What are you in? Oh, swipe down is a cancel yeah. or back out. Okay, cool. Go I was going to... Gonna, it, was, it was... um. Okay, I see the OK glass screen. Go to settings. Mm -hmm. All right, inside settings. Uh, well, device information. Yeah, it's like three cards in his device yeah. information. You see... No, I, I tried to readjust it on my head. and You I know lost. what? Just load it for him. Okay. Now, this is the cool thing. I think we mentioned this last week, but yeah. I Chachi, lost the... Um, Chachi found the uh, Meet the Team. That's usually on Android devices. Mm -hmm. Boy, they did a really cool thing with this. And it's the best, because I don't see an app that's done this yet. Um, the best representation of what you can do with the head tracking that Google Glass does. Other than, like, like driving directions mm -hmm. kind of makes sense and, and they showed us that because there wasn't they had an android phone there and she pulled it up and synced it and and you'd see like her head turning and the map turning and everything like that 
So Chachi's in there, and if you have, if you end up glass, the way you get to this is you go to device info in the settings, and tap it, load the licenses. Yeah, you isn't load. It? And then <laughs> it looks like you're in it. <laughs> yeah. And luckily, it doesn't go to sleep when you pull it off your head when you're in this mode, so you can completely pass it around to other people. So, so what this you're is... looking at is the uh, meet the team image that comes up when you find it. And now the cool thing about it is, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's 100% 360 degree responsive. Uh, you can even look <clears> up <throat> and down. It breaks a little oh, bit. Oh, you can't get all the way. Well, no, you, you actually have to no, turn you can't. around. You got to get up. You got yeah, oh, to get if up. You, you stand up, you can see it. Yeah, look up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and if you look down at the right angle, you can actually see the guy's feet. Is that what? Okay, I see a pedestal. That's probably it. It's probably the tripod because you have to do a yeah, sort of tripod yeah. thing with these guys. Wow. <laughs> That'd be awesome if you could take a picture like this with and it that. would map it. Yeah. That would be awesome. It does take a lot. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> and now I can swipe down to get back yeah, to the go main back menu. out. Yeah. Oh, and I can hear a little, like, whoosh, like yep. okay, so it's... Yep. And, and that's that's actually uh, not, not necessarily a, a normal speaker. That's bone conduction. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, we can hear a little it's bit in, of it, like the dings and everything, but mostly, okay. it, mostly it just kind of vibrates through. Um, the weird parts with it, with that, with, with that kind of thing, is, like, I completely... Chachi, I told you yesterday I, I brought the Super Mario Brothers movie on YouTube. Yeah. Um, lots of it would peak out really I'm, bad. I'm sure. So you got no volume control. You have no volume control whatsoever. on this thing yet. They say it's coming and everything, but we, the, the volume you have is the volume you have. If it's loud in the room, you have to hold your finger to your, you know, hold hold your ear in or, or cup your ear mm -hmm. or something. But that that's about it, right? I now. mean, that's the same way I go. I mean, I have with Bluetooth headsets. That's the yeah. same. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's unique. Yeah. It's a problem they have to solve. <laughs> Are you still on the 3D thing, or no? I'm just playing around now. I'm... So yeah, and you can play with that for the rest of the show if you want. But uh, okay, glass. Now, how you were showing me earlier, like your um, how do I get there? We go. You were showing me all the apps that you had loaded, and you load them through the desktop. Yes. Well, a lot of the apps, um, a lot of the apps that we have are kind of push apps to okay. a point. Now, like I have, or 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 there's certain kind of share ones. Uh, now here, no, that's your screen. Here's my screen. Uh, so, and most of them you have to go find. Like everything all the way down to Twitter here mm -hmm. is actually like it is already in here. Like, okay. When you load this up, otherwise I had to go find this this site, uh, glass-apps.org, I think it was, and they they've listed a lot of the kind of third party ones. So I have like send to Google Glass. That actually goes along with up in the corner here. I have this this G which is actually not on screen. Uh, but if I click something, I can actually, <laughs> you're going to love this part. Let's go to, give me something to search for picture-wise. That's on your Google Glass? No, no, that I can search for. There's so many dirty thoughts. Super coming. Mario Bros. I just wanted yeah. the first thing that came to his mind. I'm just going to do Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I can't say the first thing that came to my mind. because First thing that's, that's <laughs> SFW, you know? Uh, um, so, so like, okay, so I got this Mario Brothers thing. I can right click on this and I have a send image to Google Glass. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get this as a notification in a second. Up, it's here. It's there. Now how do I see it? Now, just kind of, is it on yeah. or it's the next card? I'm in a screen where it's Google, take a picture, record directions, message. No, swipe call. down. Yeah, because you're in like the kind of. Okay, function. okay, Glass. No, 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 no. It's in the timeline now. It's on one of the cards. Not the Google Now side, the other side. Ah, there it is. There it is. Now, does it send it to your Google Drive? No, it just sends it straight to the device that I'm aware of. And it's just something somebody wrote. Um, an another one I have here is uh, when I take a picture, I can send that to Google Drive. Okay. Uh, I think it might work with videos. I'm not sure yet. I haven't tested it fully. Uh, some of the other stuff, like you saw, like I had tagged there, like an Amazon app, and these I, I played with since the you know last week's show. That will 
I actually have to pin that. Like it'll send me a thing. It says, "Oh, here's this," and then it go, you can go into the menu and it'll it'll pin it to your Google Card side, right? That seems to be the only way to quote install a useful app. Otherwise, it's like an extension. So now, why sometimes? Oh, it's if I look up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a head wake option. If you go up 30 degrees, it'll pop up. If you hear a notification chime and you look up, that last tweet or whatever will load. If it's like asleep and you hear the chime. Because the whole idea is this thing sits on your face and is pretty much you forget about it, mm -hmm. right? It's just things are there and pop up and like if you want to go check on it instead of digging for your phone or whatever, uh, it, it seems – and that's the way I use it. Like it's in, it, it, I have it on when I'm sitting at my desk or you know going about things. And then, you know, I hear a chime and say, oh, I wonder what that is, pop up, and there's like a tweet from Chachi or something, or a tweet from you, or a DM from you when you were DMing me earlier. That okay. Up on there. Um, and again, like I explained before, the only tweets that come through are ones that I've sent notifications. And I mean, it looks like a pretty decent size. Like if I'm looking, when I look up and the screen comes up, I mean, you're talking a foot by nine inches i mean it's a big panel yeah yeah it, when you look at they it say, they say it's a uh, 25 inch screen eight feet away from you okay so and uh, 720 supposedly is the resolution of it and everything so well the interesting thing and i i don't know if you talked about it before but the i sent you uh a tweet about to me this is the first time or this is the first device that will actually make qr codes yeah, really I, useful, <laughs> but, but also can cause massive amounts of mayhem. Well, yeah, that was the story this week, too, right? Because uh, one of the things was because apparently that thing is set up that it sees a QR code, QR code and it automatically starts processing it. Right now, I only know that to be true as far as the Wi-Fi, because you set up your Wi-Fi in the in the website and then you take a picture of the QR code and that inputs all that data you just generated in that QR code. But you put something malicious in there, I can, yeah, that could do some damage. And they've already patched that, yeah, that flaw. Have. But it, it could get interesting of, could Glass take a picture and interpret it as malicious code and then yeah, go yeah. execute it? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, obviously it's like something with, you know, I mean, the QR code is its own kind of language. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely manipulate something like that, right? So, um, so yeah, that was like the first kind of hack. Other than that, I've never been really like, you know, hey guys, hack away at this thing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, they, there's all kinds of interesting things out there. I mean, there's already, uh, if you notice, if you take that off for a moment, uh, you know, it, it kind of usually pops on when you put it right back on your head. You see there's a sensor right to the right of where you look. Right, right in okay. there. Okay. So, I mean, that seems to be the thing that when you put it on, it says, oh, hey, I'm on your head. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But I think they've also manipulated that. Look at me, that. I'm on your face. They've also manipulated that, that you can have a wink function you just go like this, and it will take a picture. Right. I, I've heard about so that. So that becomes a little bit more of the privacy issue, right? Because otherwise, in order to take a picture, you push that button at the top, or you actually have to say, go OK Glass, okay, glass. and do that whole thing, I, right? I lost it. So, so OK Glass. Thumb da thumbs down to you and your privacy issues. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, but, I mean, it's, it's just the, it's, it's the understanding of it, too. Because it is a lens pointed at people, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to be the issue. But I mean, you could see that. What's the button on the back, where the glass button? So I'm trying to figure out. I think that's like has to do something with the speaker or something. Okay. So. Um, and there's a button on top. Didn't they give that's, you a book? That's the camera. Uh, the, it was like a pamphlet. Yeah. The, the, who gives who gives out instructions? There's a reason I had to go to New York City and sit there for an hour, right? So. So the button on top here is the cam is that's your camera button. You press it once just to take a picture. You hold for like a half second and it'll start a video. Okay. So So you can take a picture without Yeah, but I'm still going I'm still going yeah. up like this. Like I, that was the like when I was in New York for the most part, I'm just going bump, bump, bump. I'm feeling like cyclops with it. So um I mean it's really kind of hard to slip that in at that point, right? Mm-hmm. And plus if you want to get anything of any significance uh, put it put it on and try taking a video. Now just just hold down that button for a couple right. for a little bit until it kicks in. You'll see a number pop up at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> now try to actually focus on something that you want to. Yeah, it's a 
it's kind of a wide breadth of yeah now it went away well it only goes for 10 seconds automatically you have to hit it again to go beyond that oh so it, it immediately takes the picture oh wait maybe you just took the picture then no hold no on. i took the picture yeah, it, you have to. That's the no, other. I hold it. I hold it down, and it brings up the timer with a. It almost looks like a FaceTime camera. Okay. Press the camera button to extend recording. Yeah. Low battery. Charge soon. <laughs> We've done a lot of video with it, so it's probably going to die real quick. So yeah, see, like how how awkward is that? You just try to take a picture of Chachi there. You know, mm -hmm. you're trying to take a look at his screen. You know, it's hard to do this nonchalantly. Yeah. Until I think it's really built into like the bridge of your. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be the difference. And, and, glasses. and that's coming. Let's be honest. It's coming, you know. But, I mean, it does. The picture, I'm going to stop recording. Um, <laughs> the picture's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks great. Mm -hmm. Would I watch a movie on it? Maybe. I don't know. I tried. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. And you ran and out of battery? Actually, or? No, well, no, no. It was just, well, one, I lost Wi-Fi because <laughs> the Wi-Fi is really bad where I work out there. Um, and I think even my Wi-Fi doesn't work too well. Um, it, it's, it's just tough because it's like in one eye, you know, so you're, and, and I'm also wondering what is this going to do to the strength of my one eye mm -hmm. at this point from always looking up at that thing, which I think if anything else, it'll strengthen it, you know, versus looking at a computer screen all day. I mean, that's my theory. I'm no optometrist. Um, but I mean, it also lends to like, I, I don't know if you saw the article on the rundown, there was a pretty good one about how developers need to think about this thing we're not going to get our general instagram apps and evernote apps and stuff like that everything is really kind of respondent right like your stuff is notifications and you respond to that you know I, I don't use the thing to say hey i want to tweet this unless it's a picture you know i i mean unless you're creating something that's a visual content and it gives you that option so i'm wondering what kind of apps are going to come up with this it's, it's going to be it's going to be a whole different kind of thinking than it is for your phone just like fundamentally, which is the whole reason Wait, why because it's, because it's also it's it's also a the device complements another device. Yes. So the theory is they don't anticipate that you're going to have this by itself. Well, yes and no, because they we went in talking with my Google helper. Uh, she said that they are, you know, for right now it is dependent. Obviously, eventually they would like it to get to the point where it's not. So hopefully at some point you do have a cell radio in there. But even if I have a cell radio, like I said, I'm still going to be carrying. If I'm going to do an Instagram photo, I'm going to do heavy filtering and I'm going to mm. take. And but I but are you thinking it? You're thinking of it as a device that does a certain thing. Really, this is just kind of an extension and another delivery device for all your Google services. Right. You right. Got your Google now stuff. You have your, you know, your Gmails come to it and everything. And obviously, there will probably be things where you can get your important emails on Hotmail or whatever, and, and, and it's going to integrate. They're already talking about enterprise solutions for Glass, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, so so like you're going to have options that are other thing you can tether into this thing. But it's not like, it's not like, you know, how people, some people can take their iPhone and really kind of live on that thing, mm -hmm. right? And do most of their business on that thing. I'm not going to sit there dictating a bunch of emails on this thing. I've done that over the last week. Uh, like, But usually stuff where I see it and say, oh, I can give a quick two-cent response to that. That, that isn't any, any weird words. Mm -hmm. Like saying Chachi is a problem on that thing. Um, but it's not going to be something that I'm going to sit there. It's going to be something I'm going to sit there and receive. It's something I'm going to send certain things. But it's not an all-around. Why not just device. put a Bluetooth band on my arm that has a keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's my there's my long winded maybe, input. Maybe that screen that Chachi wants to put on his arm. Maybe that's the going to be the interface for his Google Glass that it ends up behind his eyeball at, awesome. at a certain point. What's that? It would be awesome. <laughs> but I mean, I could really see where that you could use peripheral devices to supplement yeah. mass entry yeah. of anything you would want to key. I mean, even today, I have I have a um, keyboard at work that has. The ability to connect to three different Bluetooth devices. Mm -hmm. So when we were DMing back and forth, I hit Source Two on the keyboard. I'll have to bring this keyboard in to, to kind of show I it. I think you've shown me that one. No, this is a different, is a different this one. Is a new one. Um, I hit. I flipped from my PC to my phone, mm -hmm. 
responded to you and then flipped back. So, I mean, if you had a device that could connect. That was like a universal input device, right. basically. <clears throat> um, and I could see them doing that. I, I could see, I mean, again, it's going to be pretty open, so it, it, I it don't think it's hard. I don't know how to do this, but supposedly it's not very hard to side those things onto it or anything like that. When I've seen some stuff, too, where they do kind of like a, it's a, usually like a three-piece kit. It would be kind of like what you have here with Google Glass. Mm -hmm. And then it also comes with a projector. Mm -hmm. And you could actually project a keyboard onto a surface based on the video, the camera seeing what you're pressing. Mm -hmm. There's your there's your data entry that it can it could potentially measure distance, much like leap. Almost you could measure distance. You could. Mm -hmm. Project a photo in front of you. You could manipulate it, and that's what I, I think. This is, the, I mean, this is that first step, and that's why mm -hmm. I think this is exciting. It's like, let's see where it goes from here. Let's see how this device does change before it gets out to the public. You know, I really don't think it's going to be as big as that thing is on the, on your head. I don't think it's going to be as big as it is on my head. Yet, oddly, the number of people that don't say anything about it or just presume it's a medical device. Oh, really? <laughs> really, I've heard that twice now. Uh, one person thought I, thought I had astigmatism when I started wearing it around him, <laughs> and the uh, other I ran into uh, at, a, at a relay for life, and she thought it was like something that was like a magnifier for people that have sight problems. Okay, because they were looking for one, because apparently these things do exist for somebody they were, they, they were helping. Um, but I think the other cool things, like I found a really cool article about um, um, helping the handicapped. You know, we talked about like how it, how it be the first person perspective if somebody's helping you, you know, actually building a computer or, or fixing a car or something. Um, this article I found over here was on a BrianGunderson.com was actually uh, about helping his I believe is his mother his grandmother uh, who was fairly handicapped needed to look through the the basement so he went on Google Hangout and said and that's the first time what was it she's seen the. Uh, uh, her basement in in years, um, you know, or or taking on a trip and to to meet some you know family or friends and and everything and 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 you know being able to have them experience that you know remote. They did something at um, Google I O where they went on a photo walk, mm -hmm. and that's actually how photo they walks. went on yeah. a photo walk with with handicapped people, mm -hmm. where it's kind of like they gave them a tour of New York City. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I could definitely see that. And that first per, and that's the thing. That first person perspective is powerful. That's why we like Chachi, right? Uh, th that's why we yeah. like first person shooters, because yeah. it puts us in that experience more by being that person. And and you can kind of step into that role by watching something. Like, I'm still blown away. I put it on my blog this week um, by the hockey video that I saw. Somebody put it on, went out and played their hockey, and and it was. I was just sitting there going, whoa, the whole time, uh, whenever he got out on the ice. I did uh, a, a couple quick videos when I was, I, I wore it to softball on Friday night and got batting a little bit out in the outfield. That part was boring. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it was, uh, you know, it, it was kind of cool. It's like the things feel like they stay on as much as my own glasses do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like I can do more physical things like that. You know, anything I'm not afraid to do with my glasses should be fine with this thing. And I think anything beyond that, I mean, there's pictures, of, there's videos of people, you know, doing flips with these things, skydiving, all, the whole like. So I, I think there's a lot of, lot of fun stuff you can do with them. So, um, but yeah. Chachi, you got a little bit of wearable tech you wanted to talk about this week, right? Yeah, in a minute. In a minute. Okay, we can talk about... It, no, I, I'm sorry, okay? Twitter is the greatest okay. whenever Anthony Weiner <laughs> is in the headlines. Okay. Um, he, he got in trouble again. Oh, jeez. For sending a sex under a pseudonym. So he wasn't using his Snapchat? No. Well, actually, it'd be great if he was using his Snapchat, because there goes that, right? His name that he was sexting under was Carlos Danger. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> so poor uses of social media. Congratulations. So Slate took it upon themselves and put up a Carlos Danger sexting name generator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my name in there <laughs> and see what we get. Armando Catastrophe. Amazing. I'm sorry. 
Um, yes, yeah, so Wearable Tech um, is my runner-up for Awesome Thing of the Week. Runner-up, okay. Um, Chilla, wouldn't you find it useful if you could replace your wedding ring with something that had more purpose? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Because I wear it every day. It's always something that's on me. It's like Google Glass. It's the most purposeful! (laughs) So, let's say you could slap an NFC chip in that. Okay. And, I don't know, charge things to your cards or unlock your phone with it or, you know. Now, do you have NFC in your phone? No. You don't have NFC in your... I have an iPhone. I don't... I, I, I know people... I don't know a lot of people using it. I don't even know where I could use it. I think it. it's as effective as the QR code. But I seem way the more QR, QR code codes. is going to take off as soon as Google Glass. See, says, I can Watch. see Google Glass. I can see QR codes being Watch. everywhere. It just needs the right device. Because mm-hmm. now you have a device that's looking at things. I don't have to pull out my phone, unlock it, switch to a reader, click it. Uh, not, yeah, there's not what reader takes this? Is Google Goggles going to do this thing? What, do I even know about Google Goggles? Yeah, exactly. So. so I don't know about the NFC thing, but go ahead. I apologize. Uh, there's a Kickstarter where you can get NFC inside of a ring. Hmm. And there it is. It, it's, it's programmable, so you can adjust it as needed. How do you program NFC? I have no idea. <laughs> but it, so I, I can just, see, I can use it to unlock doors. Yeah. See, the, here's where, okay, so I could see this. I could use it to unlock my phone. I use a password on what? my phone. I'm big on that. Exactly. Yeah. Based on the fact that I am I have my phone, see now this is, the, I want one of these. And, How much is it? Uh, for? For a mere $3 million. No, $22. 22 pounds. Pounds, So that's yeah. like 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Right. So $35, you get the, the ring in the app. See, that's something I could get into. Or eight pounds, and they'll give you the 3D plan to print and, my own. And to print your own ring and so, send you the NFC inlay. So then you go to the 3D uh, the 3D vending machine we talked about a couple weeks ago <laughs> and just go ahead and take care of it. Exactly. Right? Hmm. Now, see, it would be interesting. Why, like, I'd order both. Then I can go make my own and have one. And then I can have two rings that do two different things. Well, that's the thing. Then you would there, look like there's a two. <laughs> there's two NFC sensors on each one. So there's a public and a private. Yeah. So you can hide information on your ring. Mm-hmm. So people are going to be killing me for my ring now. Before it was just a wedding ring. Now it has important data. <laughs> I don't know. I, I Many thought... Bothans died bringing this information. Exactly. But uh, yeah, and and it, it it even if you scroll down into that page, it gives you how the the ring is laid out, mm-hmm. uh, clear coating, inlay cover, NFC, reflective material, and then the ring itself. Now, see, I saw something, and, and I I look at Facebook posts, and I'm like, some of the advertisements are just ridiculous. But it was a it was a the same type of ring, mm-hmm. but the ring actually had a small LCD, and I know this is completely impossible. It's like, sign up for more information about this. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, this isn't real. It's it's inlaid with an like an LCD display where it can actually do... It, it would show you SMS. It would show you current weather. It would show you a bunch of information. Mm-hmm. But you could actually take the ring off. The ring, like, unfolded and then twisted... And it was also a Bluetooth headset. <laughs> so you could see who nice. was calling you, and if you decided you wanted to pick up the phone, you could take off your ring and unfold it and put it in your ear, and it would pick up. No, that's too much. But no. Um, but essentially, they've already met their goal, so, I mean, this is going to happen. When's it closed? Oh, I'm getting there. And what do I need to program it? They said there was an app? 26 days ago. Yeah, they send you the app. So it closed 26 days ago, so I can no longer back it. No, it's 26 days to oh, go. Oh, to go. Yeah, and they've already crushed their, their goal. Now, here's the, the only thing that I'm reluctant about. The mm-hmm. whole Kickstarter, after seeing what happened with the Pebble. Well, no, see, uh, the thing about this, unlike other Kickstarters, is they've already successfully made this. 
But they successfully made a couple of pebbles. Yeah, uh, hold on. So I'll my pebble's you. been look, on back order since February. Look, I'm oh, just this saying. Is, okay. This is a year's worth of prototypes that they've made. Okay. That have successfully worked. The only reason they need the Kickstarter is because in order to custom make the NFC chips, mm-hmm. they have to do it in mass quantity. Okay. So mm-hmm. they need to be able to pay for an order of 10,000 at least, mm-hmm. which is why they need the Kickstarter. Okay, that makes sense. So, I mean, it, and it here, uh, the, the first video on the page is him actually using it to mm-hmm. unlock his phone. So when I get my new iPhone that has NFC in it, <laughs> I and this is, when I see it. This is and same. it already has this fingerprint sensor, so... Do you really need this? But, also, you can set that thing up, and you can pay for your McDonald's on the swipe pad with <clears throat> your ring. Right. Right? I mm-hmm. mean, is that what we're thinking here? I mean, yeah. I saw it says it will use Bitcoins, for instance, so why not? You know, so... All right. Do you have a second awesome thing? You said this is the runner-up. What's it, what's your first one, Josh? Um, today, Kotaku posted a video, uh, a music video put to a double-click song. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, the theme of the video is uh, Geek Girls. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of like, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but um, All American Rejects, Mm-hmm. Did a song called Dirty Little Secret. I think that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was uh, a post-secret type video. Well, this is along the same lines. It's all geek girls um, holding up paper, explaining why or why not they have to explain to you that they're geeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, because whether you're in the culture or not, uh, some of the hardest messed with people, believe it or not, it, and it doesn't make sense, honestly... But uh, people give girls and, and women a, a harder time about being geeks than anyone else. That's weird. I know, because I mean, we have a hard enough time getting women to begin with. Yeah. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's outcast them so they don't like us even more. I'm yeah. taking selfies of myself <laughs> in the glass. <laughs> but, um, it, yeah, it, it's, a, it's an awesome, um, touching video because I, I have tons of geek girlfriends, and uh, Chris is a huge geek. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, I mean, it, it just, it's a, a very awesome way to show um, that you really shouldn't be messing with women who are smarter than you. But it, it's interesting, though, because when I went to Philly Comic Con, they were saying that it, they, it's it's approaching the point, and this was like a person from Wizard saying this, mm-hmm. it's approaching the point where at least the Wizard Cons, which are pretty big Comic Cons, are... 50 50 mm-hmm. it's 50 percent female and 50 percent male yet yet and that's why you see a lot of we talked here on the show in recent weeks and you look at comic books and everything that the you know why why are video games comic books etc not geared towards women especially on the big sides when that demographic keeps growing mm-hmm. which is really i think it's just a lot of them don't get into the industry enough so or the industry is already preconceived to not include them so, but you see a lot of that. Well, that's what. But they're it is. all they're well, buying comic all... books. They're all they're buying product. Mm-hmm. And the the sad part is, and I felt bad. Like, I went on Friday. It started Thursday night. By mid midday, fr- or no, I'm sorry. By early morning Saturday, anything that any female would have wanted, that was female clothing related, yeah, was gone. Oh, wow. They were sold out. Yeah. And they had four decent-sized booths. Unless it was, like, a unisex T-shirt. Mm-hmm. I mean, Daryl dies, we all riot type thing. Unless it was something like that, you, they were sold out. They were gone. There was no buying. And that's probably the thing. And, that, and that's something I think mm-hmm. you'd identify with. Like, girls are usually like, well, they're wearing the T-shirts we're wearing. You know, mm-hmm. well, but, they but don't understand that, though. It, yeah. it, they print them at a smaller quantity, mm-hmm. thinking, oh, well... These girls aren't going to come out. They're just going to be ostracized and yeah, and and they're not going to spend any money. Because I mean, honestly, look they, at the majority of guys at the comic cons. Yeah, they see a woman, a woman running around. Mm. They're gonna, 
That's why there's booth babes. Yeah, they're gonna, That's why there's booth babes. They're going to harass every even, female they see. Even mm-hmm. at even at New York Comic Con, there's mm-hmm. booth babes. Because the the most the, the most uber of nerds, we have this problem. As a, as, a, as a culture, we have this problem where we like to pull out our metaphorical penises to see whose are bigger. Even if that is something demasculating as geeky things. Exactly. And, and, and we will go back and forth, sharing information or stupid facts about stuff that ultimately doesn't matter to prove that you know something more than other people. Mm-hmm. And we do that with women, too. But we never let them finish. We instantly jump down their throats because they're automatically wrong because they have tits and ovaries. Yeah, it's usually ovaries that get me. (laughs) Shut up. You're afraid of tits. (laughs) But yeah, no, it's a cool thing showing that they're they're an honest part of the culture. And we should uh, we as a a general culture should stop treating them as if they're not an equal part. Mm -hmm. Look on the social media side. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I would be willing to say it's, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of stats out there. It's well over 50% female. Oh, yeah. Well, then you have ones that are very uh, uh, female-centric, including Pinterest. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like, you want to get girls? Get Pinterest. Get 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 something involved on there, Or right? was it someone like the average, it was the average, was the average Twitter user or the average Pinterest user? Is a female, is a 28-year-old female that likes the color blue. I mean, they had, like, this demographic <laughs> down to, like, favorite color, shoe size. Wow. Like, it was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm texting Chris my uh, Carlos Danger name. <laughs> Aren't you going to make a Twitter? No. <laughs> no. I'm sure it's already taken. Well, that, and I'm really bad at manning multiple Twitter accounts. Yeah. Um... I put a lot of effort into my own Twitter account. So I'm really bad at monitoring. Sorry. But yeah, it, it's a really cool video that you should probably watch anyhow. And next time you see a girl geek, give her a high five instead of maybe questioning her. Go check it out. It's going to be in our notes. And actually, I think I'm going to tweet it out here as well. Um, excellent. I got oh, one. Also, yeah. PSA nerds, if you don't treat them like crap, maybe you'll get a date out of it. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I wanted to bring up this one. Right? Uh, You're married. I, I'm married. Yeah. It worked. I met a, uh, we met at PodCamp. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. How geeky can it get than that, you know? So, yeah. Be nice, dicks. I got one last thing. This kind of goes along with our glass uh, discussion. Have you heard of Glass Up? Mm-mm. This is a Google Glass competitor. We're seeing a lot of them kind of come out of the woodwork now. I saw one. I don't think I don't know if it was glass up. I saw it looked like a pair. Actually, the pair I saw looked like a pair of sunglasses, mm-hmm. and it was built into the lower corner. Mm-hmm. There's ones there. there, there and there's other ones I've seen that are um, like more for skiing and stuff because it takes okay. in that data, like like you know speed and wind resistance, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so more specialized ones like this. This one's actually based on Android. Um, the issue with it, though, is I guess a little. Well, let's see if we can get. I think it's under the specs or features page, maybe. Um, and you see them wearing it. You see a problem with this, guys? See a problem with this setup? And I think everybody here in this room would have a problem with this setup. How how am I supposed lenses? to wear my glasses? Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. Because you see, <laughs> you see your little. You have a little lens there. You see on the left, um, and that projects up on the glass, and that's how they do it. Right? So everyone has to wear contacts. Everybody has to wear contacts, even in their FAQ. It says, what What? What about me? I wear glasses. It's like, we're working on a solution. I was like, what? Really? Um, that is poor customer service. Yeah, NFC and, and broadcast to a, to a contact in your... In yeah, your there you go. Um, I, I, it was to the point where I, I, I was tweeting this out the other night, and uh, you know our friend at Shadow on, on Twitter, Derek, he says, Lols, quote, if you ask more details on the optics... You're a competitor, end quote. It says asking color versus mono makes me a competitor. <laughs> you know, uh, so there's some issues here uh, with with this product. And I think that's the difference is like, like Google's putting, you know, hopefully the right bits behind it. They've done stuff service 
uh, delivery wise, like because they have their own services behind it. Mm. That really, this device is more riding the stuff you're already using, right? Uh, versus building up something from scratch for something like this. Uh, I, I think, I mean, it, it's good that we see competition like this, and we'll see some other ideas out of that. But I really don't see much else taking off in this kind of field, mm -hmm. you know. But um, what would be interesting? Because I don't. I mean, looking at the device, mm -hmm. I'm guessing from here over, there's no no guts to no. the device. No. So you notice there's a screw in there. Yes. And I've seen one mod, and you see, like, from where that comes off, like right past the camera button, mm -hmm. that comes right off when you take that screw off. Uh, and I've seen a mod where somebody is taking zip ties and put it on their glasses. See, that's what I'm thinking, is why don't they make, for, for us glass well, wearers... Well, actually, when I was in there, again, I, I, was, I, was, I was starting to mention a little bit earlier, um, I really wish I had more questions already lined up, because they were fairly open about things. Um, you know, I was like, I was having a lot of trouble figuring it out with my glasses. Mm -hmm. um, oddly, and, and nobody I have handed it to, and me explaining it, has been the problems that I had with my glasses figuring it out at first right mm -hmm. um to be fair i don't think the person helping us wore glasses so okay <laughs> and so i think that was part of it but um but she's she did say like you know yeah we're working on ones for you know glasses wearers that are like built in and she even pointed to like that dude over there in that office is actually uh has been prototyping them so they are there they are working on them there's obviously going to be different models of those already floating around campus or whatever you mm -hmm. know um hopefully friend of the show why will have a pair himself because he just got hired up there i asked him is he because he, he goes to new york city for the orientation he told me so ah. i hope that wasn't privileged information um <laughs> but uh you know, yeah hopefully he, he, you know it'd be cool if he got him too he gets to kind of play with. well it's too. not like google is listening Google's always listening. They have prison. Isn't that obviously? There's a we brought a Google microphone into the studio. <laughs> Chill, is, Chill is holding it and the NSA. So, oh, I love you, Google. <laughs> <laughs> so I, and you know, and it was also interesting, and I, and I haven't come into too much for negative reactions to that thing, except for the comments to the CBS story this morning. <laughs> uh, I saw one oh, guy CBS that was like, if, if, oh, "Wait." Well, the I was on uh, uh, KDKA. Right, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're on the page, they have the article posted with the video, and there's like some. I, I took a peek at the comments. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> one guy's like, one, somebody's on there that says, if you, if I see somebody recording me on Google Glass, it's gonna become a per permanent fixture in their face or something like that. And then somebody said, like, meet me down in downtown between five and seven. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Uh, so, oh man, I'm going there for the comments right now. Go for it, man. Go for it. There's only oh, like two. Of them. I will, will. I will mess with anyone on news article comments, even <laughs> mayor, mayoral it's a, candidates. It's a special kind of crowd that comes out for that, right? So, so I'm glad oh, I told it's you not about the that. Front anymore what's that it's no it's not on the front page um just go look at one of my old tweets or something like that anymore. actually dude it's linked off well i guess i got the video on my post but uh you'll find it um just search google glass on our site or something it should come right up so um but yeah yeah i haven't really seen much negative and i've taken it you know I, i've pretty much worn it non-stop in public for well, since i got it which is a week and a half so do you use internet explorer it's a loaner laptop from work. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd slam. <laughs> I didn't feel like customizing or anything. Well, if it's loaner, I understand. All right, guys. On that it note, is. it's time to get out of here. Oh, uh, man. Let's bash swords on the internet. Is there two articles? Yes. That's weird. It's the same one. But it's a different picture. Internet's weird. Anyways, guys, it's uh, we gotta get out of here so we can go talk about some video games, um, and I can vent about Silver Surfer over on Let's Play. Uh, it's the Awesome Cast. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining us. Uh, everybody in the chat. Um, <laughs> uh, Tony Garza is looking forward to the anti-colorblind app for the uh, for the glass. Oh, and there's a glass porn. I we got a tweet today oh, from yeah, Mr. Sharman forgot about that. that said that I'm he's very disappointed in me and didn't elaborate until I saw his tweet before about the first glass porn, 
which ever and there's at least two people that said can i see maybe three people have said can i see uh through people's clothes with this thing well that's in the porn so congratulations it pornifies everything but that's a special at. effect it's I'm very sure in the porn it's or, not like the glasses or is there an app for that <laughs> um so with that, thanks Chilla for for bringing your new toy over with the leap. All right, then thank you for letting me play with your new toy. Sure. Um, so first Pretty impressions, awesome. we're real quick. Your last, last <laughs> hold on, hold on, Josh. Your last impression of that before we go out here. <laughs> Never mind. He's watching a movie or something. <laughs> so I said, let me let me thank you for playing with your Google Glass. Yeah. And it just googled. This is pretty awesome. Like, I must have said, this is pretty awesome. Thanks for letting me play it. And it Googled it <laughs> as soon as I put the device on. Yeah, so sometimes that happens. It's Lazy awesome. American said, pick me, I'll do it. I have a pair and are available to me anytime downtown from 5 a.m. until about That's 7 the guy p.m. That, to the guy that wants just, to punch him in the face, yeah, right? Just pick the location and time. I want to see if Mikey Boy is all talking, no action. So Mike responded. He said, sure, I'm up for it. Meet me in the middle of the parkway about 5 p.m. If you can dodge the car successfully, you win a chance at meeting me. Come on, I'm sure you played Frogger before. To know where I'm going with this, don't worry. You get an extra life at 10,000 points. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's bringing the geeks out. And that's all of the comments. That's great. That's great. Um, Chachi, you're at insertcointobegin.com. Always. Always. You got Unsung coming up. Sure. sure. Do we? <laughs> Is there anything you would like to promote? No, that's about it. That's what this it could. Good. What? Oh, nothing, man. Well, am I supposed to be promoting something? Just anything that you're working on. Hey, just insert coin to begin. Okay. That's it. Go to that thing. Thanks. Don't find the way to go. Be excited about it, man. I, I was reading your comments. Get me excited about you. You're your, a star. You should be always ready to promote your shit, man. You're gonna you're gonna break your liner. <laughs> and that's recorded guys i'm sorg i'm over at sorgatron.com with my bloggies and stuff ow get excited get excited oh no you just got muted oh <laughs> my yeah After. Uh, get excited <laughs> sorgatronmedia.com awesomecast on twitter google plus facebook contact at awesomecast.com uh thanks to everybody for joining us thanks to our awesome chat room you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week awesome. We're getting awesome!